Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. Ever wake up and start your day and nothing goes right? Well, over the next few minutes, I'll cover how to reset, revive and survive your internal dialogue. I'm Kari Watt. I'm a communication specialist, speaker and writer. And I'm here to be your digital coach where I give you guidance on how to communicate better in your career and relationships or on anything you want to ask me. Because communication is my thing, I want to see you become a better communicator no matter where you are in the world, how old you are or what you do for a living. Now, if you're new to my podcast, please subscribe to encourage that I'm actually making a positive influence. And if you're not new and haven't subscribed, come on now, what are you doing? Can you help a girl out? You know those days where you feel like you're paddling upstream? Everything, even the simplest of things seems hard where you feel deflated and want to go back to bed. Now I get those days, especially around my birthday. I'm not really sure why. Perhaps it's because I'm a woman and getting older feels kind of scary when really I should embrace becoming wiser, except for the grey hairs, of course. Did you know that anxiety has a profound effect on your inner dialogue because anxiety naturally makes you less hopeful and less content or less relaxed with the things around you? Anxiety affects more than just the way you feel. It affects the way you think. It alters the way you see yourself. And it changes the way you view your thoughts and your experiences. What anxiety does is damage your internal dialogue. In a way, it's like a form of self-sabotage. You go about your day putting yourself down and insulting your own inner character. On those days, you could almost say you're feeling tired. But seriously, it's not that. It's only the way you're thinking about yourself at that very moment. It's not permanent. And this is the beauty of changing the way we communicate to ourselves. We can reframe how we think, feel and act with a few simple phrases. On these days, try to catch your inner dialogue you're having with yourself because this actually plays a huge part on how you feel about yourself and how well you communicate with others. Now you have to remember communication is a two-way connection even with yourself because you are the receiver of your own inner dialogue. So let's look at a scenario where you might have slept through your alarm. On the Kari Cares Podcast. You wake up, your hair's all over the place. You feed the dog, but instead of dog biscuits, you feed it cereal and the dog just looks at you. You literally have a two minute shower and brush your teeth at the same time. Whilst you're putting on your clothes, you're dashing to put on your makeup, but you end up with eyeliner across your face or it's wonky or you forget to put mascara on. And as you rush out the door, you stub your toe. But when you get to the bus stop, you realize you've left your bus pass on the bed at home. You're so busy rushing around that nothing you do actually benefits you or your day. As you rush back home, you trip over the dog and what's the first thing other than a swear word that you say to yourself? You might say, I'm an idiot. Then you race back for the bus and you've missed it by a few seconds. Already the inner dialogue has gone from slightly negative to completely erratic. The internal dialogue gets more and more negative. You start to ask yourself why and you question everything during the day. Now this pattern has begun and there's no turning back, but the pattern has to stop. The more you fret and rush, the more negative statements you say to yourself about yourself, which also breeds like for like. And what I mean by this is if you keep saying negative statements about yourself, people start viewing you this way as well. It's a downward spiral. So how do we change it? How can we reset, revive and survive the internal dialogue? Well, I'll give you three steps to follow. Step number one, stop what you're doing. Take a deep breath in and let it out in a, ah, you're going to be late and nothing can change this. So stop rushing and realize it's okay. You're okay. You slept in. There's a reason for it. Are you overworked? Did you have a late night? Did you eat the wrong types of food that kept you up all night? Whatever the reason, you can make up time at work, right? So stop rushing. 
Your boss will understand because it happens, although try not to make being late a habit. If it is, then perhaps you need to look at your sleeping patterns and go to bed earlier or wake up at a time that gives you a couple of hours to get ready before you leave for work. I do this because it gives me time to get ready slowly and I get to spend time with my dog in the mornings. Step number two, catch those negative words and change them into something positive. When you catch yourself saying stuff like, I'm an idiot, I'm a jerk, God, I'm stupid. Why don't you change it to something more positive like, I'm incredibly smart or just, I'm incredible. Step number three, say these simple words, I can. Now, remember my podcast, Meditation is the Greatest Thing Since Sliced Bread. I think it's podcast number one. There's a simple mantra in it that instantly gives yourself permission, communicating to your brain and body that you can achieve the things and everything becomes easier and calmer. Now, I go more into detail about the non-verbal inner dialogue in one of my online courses. If you want to know more about this, please get in touch via LinkedIn, Facebook or Twitter and send me a private message with the Kari Cares podcast. I can certainly send you some information and you'll get a little bonus for listening to my podcast. On the Kari Cares podcast. In the meantime, you can also try these simple statements where you will really feel the difference from the negative into the positive. I challenge you now to close your eyes and take a deep breath in and let it out. Obviously, if you're driving, please don't close your eyes. I repeat, do not close your eyes if you're driving. So why don't you repeat after me? I needed to sleep in so I can be totally productive. I am in divine timing. Everything is perfect as it is. Today I will achieve exactly what I'm supposed to. I can make up the time easily and effortlessly. With these simple statements, you raise your mental and physical well-being to a more compassionate human for yourself. It will alleviate stress and you will see the world in a better headspace. Therefore, people around you will look at you in a much more positive space. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe for some good vibes and because it's free. Give this away. Share it with friends or colleagues who could use a little help. Give it to them because they can listen to it privately and it may significantly change the outcome of their lives. See you next time because communication is my thing and now it's your thing. Well, I hope it's your thing. I hope it becomes your thing. Is it your thing? On the Kari Cares Podcast. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to oscastnetwork.com for details.